I don't know. Hey, Miss okay. Price, why are alligators so mad? We are recording now. Why? Why are alligators so mad? Mama said they got all dim teeth and no toothbrush. That's a Waterboy reference. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to add, I'm tacking this on to 5-1-A just as another few um, review problems for finding derivatives of logs. Um, I will tell you that someone asked for 39, so I'm going to do number 40 from last night because 40 wasn't assigned and that way you can go back and do 39 correctly. So this is a limit as x approaches 5 from the right of the natural log of x over the square root of x minus 4. The limit as x approaches 5 from the right is the same as the limit as x approaches 5. Right? If you find the limit as x approaches 5, it has to be the same from the right and the left. So always, for every limit, you always start by <laughs> plugging the 5 in and just see if you get a valid answer. So the limit, it's the natural log of 5 over 1, which is just ln 5. And you're just done. Ta-da. Ta-da. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. It yes. seemed a lot more complicated when I was doing it last night. Yeah, it's just really Alone in the dark at 12 o'clock. Alone in the dark, yes. Okay, so anyway, so that was that one. Okay, the next problem that was requested was 55, which is a natural log of a natural log. So I'm going to make up my own for this one. We're going to do y equals ln of ln of x cubed plus... Five. And we're going to find the derivative of this, right? Okay, this one, you've got to kind of stay with me here. The Illuminati. The Illuminati. <laughs> okay, outside in. The derivative of a natural log of stuff, and I'm going to take away stuff in a moment, but the ln of stuff you put the stuff on the bottom. So the whole argument goes on the bottom. It doesn't matter what's inside, whatever it is, goes on the bottom. Right. Right? Then its derivative goes on top. Do you understand that? Right. Yes. Okay? So the argument goes on the bottom, and then the derivative of that argument goes on top. So we need the derivative of ln of x cubed plus 5. What's the derivative of ln x cubed plus 5? Three argument x. goes on the bottom. Derivative goes on top. Complex fraction. Oh, that's fancy. Okay. So... Your whole, we have a derivative of natural log of whatever this is. Whatever is in here goes on the bottom, and then the derivative of that goes on top. The derivative of natural log x cubed plus 5 is 3x squared over x cubed plus 5. Now, if you wanted to clean it up and make it look nice, would that natural log of x cubed plus 5 go to the numerator or the denominator? denominator. It would go to the denominator. Right? And there you have it, folks. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Does that make sense? Okay. Some of the problems, like uh, 53 and 54, simple quotient rule. Just follow simple quotient rule. F prime G minus FG prime over G squared. Right? Just don't overcomplicate. They're very simple. It's just simple quotient rule. 57 and 58 in last night's homework, you 100% what when you have something like the natural log of the square root of x plus 1 over x minus 1, you should absolutely expand that log first, right? Put the exponent out front, break it up, then do your derivative, right? Always break up the logs first before you do the derivative. Otherwise, you're going to have a nightmare. I can understand people saying that the homework last night was a nightmare if you didn't use properties of logs to break up the argument first, right? So, all right. Okay, the last one that we are asked for, 87, 
87 says to find the relative extrema of x over ln x. So as a compromise, I'm going to do 86, which is 86 says, oops, I can write. 86 says y equals, which one is it? ln x over x. And we have to find relative extrema. And oh, and inflection points. Whoa. So what do we have to find first? First derivative. First derivative, right? Point of inflection. I want everyone right now to take a second and find y prime. Use quotient rule. Do you know the song? Uh, all the gun drops. Or if all the raindrops were mainly dropping gumdrops, oh, what a rain it would be. Oh, I thought it was that French song. Oh, Alouette? Yeah. Alouette. Chanty Alouette. Or you could have the song, oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. It's not even remotely related to that song. <laughs> <laughs> well, same. I learned the songs at the same time. So we were on a long car trip, and I was like, fun children's songs, and I could put it in Google. And that was the, like, one of the three that came up. Because if I were an Oscar Mayer wiener, everyone would be in love with me. All right, so the root of the top is what? Let's do a bell on x. 1 over x times x minus ln x times 1 all over x squared. So when we clean it up, we get 1 minus ln x all over x squared. Critical numbers. Well, obviously if the bottom is 0, we get x equals 0. That's where the derivative is undefined. The top, we get ln x equals 1. What does x need to be? Remember, this to this equals this. E to the first equals x, so x is e. Right? This function only exists for values of x that are greater than 0, right? So when you make your sign line, don't even bother with negative x's because the function doesn't even exist before then. Bless you. Thank right. you. so cute. Okay, so when we make our sign line, when you have to, first of all, the denominator is always positive, right? You can ignore the denominator. So now we're just looking at the numerator. When you have to make a sign line for log functions, the x values you want to plug in would be powers of e. So if this is, um, well, this doesn't exist, but let's just say like right before 0. So we have like e to the negative a million. And this is e to the first. So if you pick a number in between there, like e to the 0, right, because we know 1 is in here, right, right? e to the 0. So if we plug in um, e to the 0, we get 1 minus the natural log of e to the 0, which is 0. 1 minus 0 is positive. Do you guys all remember we talked about yesterday, like ln of e squared is 2, ln of e to the third is 3, ln of e to the 0 is 0, right? Okay, because yeah, e to the zero is e to the zero. Okay. All right, here if I picked like e to the fifth, that would be five. One minus five is sure negative. So this function is increasing, decreasing, and we have, they didn't ask for that, they just asked for relative extrema, so we have a rel max at e, at e comma something, because f prime changes from positive to negative. The y value, what's L and E? One. one. Right? So you get one over E. Is that why? Alright, we got five points of inflection, which means we need the second derivative. Yay! Here's the first derivative. Question. Yes. Just for clarification, for the previous one we did, we had dy dx mm -hmm. equals 1 minus uh, oh, or equals That's the equation. So uh, can you, can you still, if you say dy dx, you were trying to differentiate? 
So when you find a derivative with e to the y, and you differentiate e with dy, dy, dy. You lost me completely. Like if, if I wrote, instead of, you're worried, like if I wrote dy dx instead of y prime? Yeah. <coughs> That's just the same thing. They're just equivalent. String. You just have d squared y dx squared. There is no y. It's not, guys, the root of y is not 1 over y. Don't confuse logarithmic differentiation with a regular derivative. The derivative of y is dy dx. It's not 1 over y dy dx. Okay. That's the derivative of a natural log y. Okay. Right? Don't confuse the derivative of ln y with the derivative of just y. Right? This guy is what goes to 1 over y dy dx, and then you have that y you got to deal with. This one's just dy dx, right? It's just your regular derivative. Okay. Y double prime. We're using quotient rule. Bell's going. I'm going to do this quickly. All right. Shifting the camera over. All right. Derivative of the top. Well, let's see. Derivative of 1 is 0. Negative ln x, so negative 1 over x times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. So what you get is negative x minus 2x plus 2x ln x, just distributing some stuff. So you get 2x ln x minus 3x over x to the fourth, and you can cancel an x from every term, you get 2 ln x minus 3 over x cubed. Your zeros, again, if the bottom was 0, your critical numbers, you get x equals 0. If the top is 0, you get ln x equals 3 halves. What is x? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. E to this power equals this, right? X equals E to the 3 halves. Right? Base exponent equals that. Got to get into that practice, right? Okay, and then you'd make another sign line. 0, E to the 3 halves. Here I pick... Sorry. Here I pick E to the 1st. I plug in. I get 2 minus 3, which is negative over positive, it's negative. I pick e to the 10th, I get 20 minus 3, which is positive over positive, it's positive. Concave down, concave up. We have a point of inflection at e to the 3 halves of something because f double prime, I should say y double prime, sorry, changes sign. Plug my e to the 3 halves back into the original function. What's the natural log of e to the 3 halves? 3 halves. 3, three halves, halves over e to the 3 halves. 3 halves over e to the 3 halves is 3 over 2e to the 3 halves. And you're done. That is what I expect for 87. Probably, probably, probably. Okay. That means probably. I want beautiful, beautiful.